So I am surprised. I forgot how hard it is to walk in thick snow. We haven't had a snowfall like this, I'd say for a good five, six years now. The whole part of the UK I'm from has shut down. No work, no buses, no schools. And the temperature tonight is gonna to be amazing. We just need to get to a little location to set up and then we'll talk about that. But yeah, the snow is thick and I love it. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm just gonna be sitting here for a bit just well light drops because there's a lot of people about like i've already said we've not really had snow this thick for a long time and you know like i say a lot of people aren't going to work a lot of schools have closed yesterday so they've had yesterday and today at home so there's a lot of people out sledges on the main farmer's field because it's a bit of a slope and the farmer's field sort of borders all this small bit of woodland there's another field up there, that's basically flat. You've seen it a lot on my channel if you subscribe and see my videos when I do upload them. But the temperature tonight, minus nine. I could put it on screen here. I'll just move me over a little bit for you. There we go, I'm just digging it in snow. So you can see there how it drops early in the morning to Saturday morning to minus nine. I've never camped in that sort of temperature or minus temperature, let's say. I've been out in minus seven, that's probably the lowest. But minus nine. Now, well, my dash, throw some stuff in my rucksack and let's get out. So I haven't brought like lumps of steak and stuff like that. I've packed some equipment that I hope does keep me warm. Stuff that I've tested anyway. One of the air mats, it don't keep me warm, but the way I'm gonna layer it, maybe. I've got like a body clava to put on as the temperatures start dropping through the night. And some of what I always say I don't like to wear, but I'm gonna do some uh, winter gloves, just so I can guarantee I'm not gonna have cold and as the temperature starts dropping. Like I say, I'm excited for this. I'm excited to try the minus nine. If I didn't do it, I'd only be curious in what it would have been like and would I have managed to stay out the night. Just out of interest, what's the best, coldest weather that you've camped in? Now, if you've camped in minus 10, don't put minus 20, be honest. <laughs> I know someone who do that. Yeah, I camped in minus 12, but I'm gonna say minus 24 just so I look a bit better. If you've camped out in minus one, you've camped out in minus one. I've done it plenty of times. But that's why I'm so happy tonight to be out when it's this cold. Minus nine. Scott and Dan are not with me tonight, so it's sort of more like an, uh, a solo camp. And I'm gonna be using an alcohol burner. No gas, definitely not having a fire. One thing I do need to find is my little stove so oh there we go attached it together so i knew if i pulled one out i had the other oh I feel temperature dropping already nice little new alcohol stove here Got like a little lid, you know, you can dampen the, the heat coming off it. Simply just put it on like that. And then just say you, 
your bowl, your water, or whatever you're doing, there's still some fuel left in. You just simply slide the lid over. You can't dampen it like a, I don't know why I thought you could, where you could pull it backwards and forwards. That is a bit of a shame. Basically, it's a burn. Once you've done, put it on your flames out, saving fuel for the next time. And it is a shame as well, but it's not got a screw top, you know, so if there's fuel in there, you can just carry it around in that to next time. But dead cheap. I can't remember how much I paid for it. I'll, uh, I'll share the link in the description if you're interested, take a look at it. Titanium. Only a few people walking around on the field. Not far from here. Well, it's a few kids. Could expect them to come in really by the looks of the direction they're coming in. Question time. Okay. Wonder how hard this is going to be. Yeah, terrible. I finally got it going after knocking the whole thing over once. That was a bit annoying. You know, I've been doing something and I don't know how crazy it might sound. So I'll ask you guys. I've been stopping and starting recording, you know, in between. The, there's some kids in this direction. There's two young lads there. They didn't come over and talk to me, but I'm trying to record in between the noise. And I started thinking to myself, hang on a minute, Dan. You know, you're not only the person who can come out when it's cold like this and enjoy the great outdoors. At least them kids are not sat at home behind their PlayStations, Xboxes. They're doing it how I used to do it and probably you guys. You know, when we were younger, when it snowed, you used to get out with your friends on sledges or old bin lids. <laughs> and I started thinking to myself, you can't expect people to be quiet. Just do what you're doing. It's nice to be out though, by myself as well. The lid don't want to work very well at putting it out. <laughs> it's just not going, is it? <laughs> so... If you ask me, the lid is a bit useless. Oh, there we go. I think I've got it now. Yeah, there we go. Now it's out. <sighs> That's nice. <laughs> that has just brought like a little... Yeah, you know inside, you know when you do something good and you say, that's awesome. I know it's just a cup of coffee, boiled on a little alcohol stove, but that just give it everything then. Just that one sip tasted amazing. Them kids won't scream, it'd be even better, but they're enjoying themselves, aren't they? It's what all this is about. They're enjoying themselves, you know, sledging with their friends. I'm enjoying myself in this little bit of woodland. When they go, it'll be quieter, yeah. 
But I'm going to be out tonight in a bivvy bag, camping by myself in the snow, minus. Oh, <laughs> that's gone right down my back. <laughs> Oh, that's cold. That's really cold. Oh. Yeah. What was I saying anyway? Here's a tip for you. If it's been snowing, don't sit under the trees. <laughs> anyway, I'm out doing my things. Minus nine in a bivy bag. Solo camping. That's my little bit of, you know, enjoyment and doing what I like to do, like they're doing what they like to do. You're watching me like you like to do as well. First time you're seeing me, you know, on your TV, your phone, whatever, consider hitting that subscribe button, check out some of my videos, press the bell button. I know, I don't often say the bell, but I've been told a lot by people. I don't get your notification because you don't mention the bell. So I thought I'd mention bell this time. So yeah, if you subscribe or you're gonna subscribe, and there's a bell next to it. If you press that, that's how you get your notifications. So I'm, I'm, I'm told to believe anyway. So I believe to be told. Which way around does that go? Who cares? Press the bell button. Apparently you get told when I upload a new video. It's brilliant, isn't it? So I've decided I'm going to put my hood up. Any more snowfalls, it's only going to land on my hood. <laughs> you know, you got to get out and give this stuff a try. Got to be that person to the sitting there going, I'd like to try that. You know, summertime will be here soon. Get out, get to, I don't know, go outdoors, any sports shop like that. Buy yourself a decent tent, decent sleeping bag, air mat. Just get out and camp. I'll always say don't go for the most expensive stuff straight away because if you don't like it, you've wasted a lot of money. So just give yourself a budget, I don't know, let's say £150 if you can afford it, and just get out camping. It's all you need to do. I'll share a link in the description. I won't put it there until I forget. Just a playlist of mine where I did a low-budget camping. So I went round certain shops what sold tents, sleeping bags and stuff, own bargains, uh, go outdoors, and some other ones, I can't remember them now anyway. I think Tesco's are one of them, I think. Amazon. And uh, I just showed you could get some decent summer camping equipment for very, very cheap. So yeah, if you want to see them, I'll post a link in the description for them so you can check it out. I'll make it noticeable, you know, budget playlist or something you know get out and give it a try be funny if someone threw a snowball back at me wouldn't it <laughs> Right, so what my plan is, if it does start getting really cold later on, last thing I want to be doing is getting in and out of the bivy bag once I get it nice and warm with my body heat. I will be coming backwards and forwards on the camera, you know, letting you know if anything happens or what the temperature's going to be at then. But I'm thinking I'm going to have something to eat. Now, I'm not hungry, but I just want to get this done now. We've got about an hour and a half before sunset anyway. So this is something that I got from Ainsworth Woods. When I went camping there a couple of weekends ago. This is from uh, one of the lads I saw there. And the, the company's uh, the steak detectives. Beef up. Beef up old chap. Beef up old chap. St the steak detectives. Beef up old chap. Yeah, I said it right. You will be told how and when to eat it. That's pretty, 
bossy, isn't it? <laughs> You'll be told when to eat it. 300 grams. Uh, Ministry of Beef, Steak, Vegetables and Dumplings. To be fair, it does look like the one that you do get in the British Army ration packs. It does look something a lot like that. I don't know. I wonder if they've actually just stuck their own labels on some of these. I don't know. I'll share a link if they've got a website in the description if you want to go check them out. It's up to you. There's going to be a lot of links there, isn't there? Now, I'm hoping that I can get it to go in here. If not, I've brought another thing out to do. Yeah, we can get it in there and warm it up. So, once again, we have to mess around, try to get this stove lit. First thing about these is squashing it all down to the bottom. And plus, when you're out solo camping, I think if you're not going to have a fire, I think a lot of people would just crawl into the tents or the bivy bags or the hammocks and just hide away from the cold. <laughs> I come out to test minus nine, but now I'm hiding away at seven o'clock. <laughs> it is what it is, isn't it? It's all about being out. There, that's a bit better. Well, it didn't take as long this time. So I am pretty glad about that. You know, I just realised something. I carried this bottle of water in. Uh, it's got a lot of things there. You can do it almost there. We're reading it backwards, aren't we? Let's go. Drink up. Stay hydrated. Keep going. Remember your goal. So you must be halfway through there. Don't stop. Almost there. You did it. Oh, so you got from 7am all the way down to... 9am, massive bottle, 2,000 mil, so what's that, 2 litres, I didn't need to bring it all, I could have worked out how much of this snow to make a drink with, couldn't I, I don't know, it is what it is, as long as I come out and enjoy myself, that's the main thing. So tonight I'm using the climate um, I did a video on this saying it was cold to sleep on and like I said I know it's going to be cold tonight but I wanted a wide sleeping mat something where I've got enough no you know what I mean don't you instead of if you want enough room to move around without sliding off but I do have this heat reflected blanket thing here so my, what my intentions are of using the air mat and putting this on top of the air mat and then when I learn in my sleeping bag, all my body heat will reflect from this back up into the sleeping bag. So that is my idea. I just hope it works.
So, as always, my trusty camping pillar. And if you're subscribed on my channel, you might have already guessed I have brought out the Outdoor Vitals sleeping bag. This is the go to down bag that I like to use. It's absolutely fantastic. It's not let me down. I've had it for a couple of years now. I do like this sleeping bag because it's centre zip. So if I do need to get up through the night to go to the toilet, it's a lot easier. So you can see my setup. I do have this as well. So what I'll do is, before I climb into my baby bag, I'll just lay this under the baby bag on the floor just give myself a little bit of extra protection from the bottom of the floor but for now I'm just using it to sit on so I don't get a cold bum so the setup as you've seen it I've also been on about the spongy foam mat's going to be underneath here so we've got the three layer baby the air mat then the foil heat reflective mat, the sleeping bag and the pillow and we'll fold this over if anyone's interested it's the Miltech coyote colour get all that zipped up got some press studs here you can just press them, stud them down in place like so Temperature's dropping now. Woo! I do have some gloves. I will put them back on in a minute. But I wanted to show you these. Last time I ran this woodland, I stealth camped right at the other side. And, you know, there were some dodgy noises going on fruit night. And I maybe did freak myself out a little bit too much. And his company said to me, would you like some of these earbuds? And I was like, well, you know, I do need some. What are they called? Sleep earbuds. Memory foam tips. You know, they're £20 to buy. And for them to say, we'll send you some if you want some. All I have to do is share a link in the description. More links. So I thought, why not? And I'll test them as well. Very tiny. So this one's my right ear, left, right. Give me a little lick, stick them in, same again, stick them in. Say something. What? <laughs> yeah, wow. I can't hear the, uh, the water boiling. I know there was a bird in the tree, but I can't hear anything now. Hmm. Trying them later on. I'll stick to my agreement. I'll share a link for you. <laughs> You've got to do it. You know, if they're kind enough to send stuff out, yeah, they're going to get sales from it and stuff, but it saves me spending money, doesn't it? Something I don't want to be doing. <laughs> Not right yet, anyway. But yeah, I'm looking forward to trying them. As soon as I put them in, it's just like everything just went... It felt like I was in a bubble and I couldn't earn nothing. <laughs> Yeah, we're trying now. I'm looking forward to trying them now. I think that's like, like, like I said last time I were here. They were like a... A lot of people saying it were an head jog. I wasn't too sure. There's something moving around. Like I said earlier, it's very easy to get butterflies and to get spooked when you're out solo camping by yourself or stealth camp. Whatever type of camping you're doing. Anyway, my meal is warm. I just want to somehow put them flames out again. But best thing about this is this water here. I could always make another drink of it if needed. 
there we go that time i just put the lid on give it a bit of a shake and it managed to put the uh, flames out straight away we are losing light as well wow straight away i can smell like gravy oh yeah the smell of steak is fantastic Ooh. I'm not a massive dumpling lover, to be true for you. Well, that's a good size. Hmm. Yeah, the dumpling. That's I'm not a massive lover of it, but it'll do. It's going to have the basics in it. Yeah, carrots, potatoes, peas, onions, beef, flour, water, vegetable stock, palm oil, white flour. It's got the same sort of stuff as you do. You know, it's like a, a stew, you know, on a nice cold summer's, nice cold summer's night. Duh. <laughs> How's that work out, Daniel? A nice cold winter's night, you know, and your mum makes you... A stew we used to have them a lot back in days didn't we because you know i think back in days when people had less money as well so to make a full pan of stew it do your family for two nights and i think if you go back to the you know 70s 80s 70s and even 60s a lot of people probably ate stew a lot they were not going to tesco's and buying a meal deal were they you know, like you get pasta in a pot and stuff. So none of that stuff. You know, I say to my daughter, I'm going to Tesco's, what do you want? Nine times out of ten, she'll say, oh, will you get me a meal deal? I'm always like, Katie, you know, don't you want something better, a cooked meal? No. You know, it's just sort of stuff you eat these days. Pizzas. Back in days, they want them. That's what I mean. A lot of people would have had the the stew and other... What, what other stuff did you eat back in the 80s? I was born early 80s, but I don't remember a lot of the stuff. I remember stew. I remember shepherd's pie and stuff like that. Mm. You know what? I've made a mistake, so much wrong. Oh, because I'm more concentrating on my setup and how we're going to keep warm within the bivy bag and everything else and making sure I didn't forget the fuel for my stove. I've only got one pair of socks on. And my feet are cold. Now, it's not a major thing where I'm going to have to go home or anything, but I've got cold feet and I, and I should have thought about this. You know, I've been camping for a lot of years and it's just, the, the boots are not wet. These boots are waterproof, so the boots are not wet at all. The, the dry inside, everything's fine. It's just my feet are cold. My socks, they're not wet. A little bit there because I've just put them on the ground like an idiot, but... My, I think you can see the steam. No, you can't. But the steam coming off my feet. But my feet are cold. And I'm a little bit disappointed that I've let that part slip. I, yeah. Silly little things can ruin a camp. And this is why in, early in the video I was saying, you know, concentrate, try to start in the summertime. Because if you're out like this and you're getting this problem, like it's not, I don't know if it's a problem, I've got cold feet. Once I get in my bivy bag, I can just warm them up, take the socks off if needs be, and just be in my bivy bag. I'm going to be in it for a lot of hours anyway, so it's not a, like, I ain't got time to warm them up. I'm frustrated with myself because I forgot about the socks. Normally what I do is I'd come out, I'd bring a spare pair of socks in my bag, and then just for 
I get into my bed or, or I, and I, I put the spare pair on then. And then in the morning, I've got them to put my boots back on and go home. But I just don't have it. I've just let myself down. I brought the gloves. And my hands are freezing. I don't even wear gloves. You know, I feel a bit of a div now. I really do feel a bit of a div. You know, keeping your feet warm and your head warm is quite important. And if it does get to minus nine, I'm just glad I'm going to be in my bivy bag. And I'm glad I brought that outdoor vital sleeping bag as well. But I feel like it's a mistake that I needed to concentrate on. And I hate letting myself down like this. <laughs> I'm not being a tart. I know someone's going to shut up your tart. But <laughs> it's just when you've done this for so long and then something happens like this. You just feel to yourself, oh God, so how can I, how can I let this happen? I don't know if you can see how cold it is getting actually. It's saying it's minus three on my phone on the weather app, and my feet are cold. <laughs> I can laugh about it, but at the time I was like, never thought. Anyway, I'm just going to probably go for a bit of a walk, try to warm my feet up a little bit. So just on floor here, we've got fox footprints, fox tracks, and that's what you'd probably call them. Yeah, they're everywhere, look. That may be a deer's one there. There's quite a few around here. I think some of these are where the snow has fallen from the trees. But some of them are definitely fox tracks. See them ones there? That's from the tree. There's some animal ones here. This one is definitely a deer track. 100%. And this is where they've been here. And there. And over here as well. So there's a couple of them. There's a couple of deer. Oh dear. Tell you what, it won't be very long before I'm climbing that bivy bag. How cold it's getting. It's like I'm whinging about the cold, isn't it? Well, I knew it's going to be cold, but I want to sit here and whinge about the cold. <laughs> oh, it's going to be cold. Oh, it's cold. Oh, it's going to be minus. Oh, it's definitely cold, people. Obviously, duh. Maybe argue with yourself on camera. <laughs> Obviously it's cold, it's snowing. You know it was cold, Daniel. Don't act like you didn't know it was gonna be cold. <laughs> yeah. Gotta to talk to somebody, aren't you? Even if it is yourself. Last thing you want when your face is cold is a, 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 one of these whacking you straight in the face. Oh, yeah, that hurt, it? Ooh, dip. I said dip, no else. I love being out. I love being outdoors. I really do. Right, so I'm crawling into my setup now. Two reasons. My feet are cold, but I keep banging on about like a big baby. 
Plus, we're starting to lose light. I've not got a lot to do. And I get up every day at week, the stupid times, half five in the morning. So if I can have a sleep, and I'll be all right for a lot of hours, I'll be very happy at that. And the other reason is, as it's starting to get colder, it's saying it's minus four now, if it starts getting colder and I'm not warming up, then I've got probably a little bit of daylight to get out of here and go warm. Because it's important not to try and push your limit with your equipment. If you feel like the equipment's are failing, you do, you know, you're spanning camp. You don't stay out. You know, macho man for being cold all night long. It's just not good. So what I'll do is I'll bring you back in a bit and I'll let you know just how we go along with being warm. And that will make my mind up if I think the equipment's good enough for this. I don't see why it won't be. I really don't. So first of all, problem is the air mat is too wide for this bivy bag. Uh, Miltec bivy. The air mat's a bit too wide, but luckily enough it does fold up at the ends. So I am in this pretty, you know, closed in. <laughs> but I think that'll probably help keep my body heat anyway. Look, I'm just going to keep talking, feel like I have to record something because I'm doing this. I'll bring you back in a bit. That's what it's all about when you get up in the morning. I went to the toilet, I think it were quarter past four. By God, that were nippy. I've been awake since six, it's now half seven. I've just been laying down, editing some of my video, crazy as it sounds. And then a dog walker came past, so you know, you get talking to them. Not the dogs, you know, the person walking the dog. <laughs> Oh, absolutely freezing. I'd always like to go to like Alaska or places like that where it gets really, really cold. And then I get like this and I think, nah, I won't. I'll stay in my own country. I'll tell you one thing, these little earbuds, absolutely fantastic. I'm not exaggerating. It's just like so, like springy, rubbery, so the fit into your ear perfect. That's like a gel. And that just formed really well in my ear. They're fantastic. I know Scott had some. I didn't believe him to be truthful. But I will be interested to know how they work if you're out camping with Scott. And with these ones here, but these ones were a bit too big. See if I can focus. There we go. See how they've got that different design there? They're like what you get in a factory, you know, like a noisy environment. But them ones, I didn't get on with them ones too well. I tried them both. It's these uh, foam ones, what a lot better. I think the foam, like I said yesterday night, I'll share a link in the description. The company were really good enough to send me these and it made a bit of a difference last night. So it's, it's only fair I stick to my side of the agreement. 
and have a little chat about them. Right, I'm making my way home now. Leave no trace the best I can. Obviously the snow has been scattered around. Cold night, I'm glad I tried it. Like I said at the beginning of the video, if I didn't come out and give it a go, I'd always wonder what minus nine would be like. I'm only going by what the forecast said. So, minus nine it was. It's now eight o'clock in the morning. I will be hopefully try to get this video done for you so I can upload it sometime through Saturday. But I just want to thank everybody for watching. It's still cold. Oh, I could feel that on my chest. Anyway, if you like my video and you want to see more of my ugly face, press this here. You better subscribe to my channel. I'll uh, let YouTube recommend the video there for you. But for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you later on.